In just four years, the People's Progressive Party Civic PPP government has distributed over 38,000 house lots and enhanced the overall housing sector with billions of dollars in investments as part of its overarching aim to ensure citizens have access to adequate housing and a platform on which to build wealth. It is a success story that cannot be replicated by APNU in their wildest imagination, General Secretary of the PP Dr. Bart Jagdeo has said. PPP General Secretary Dr. Bharat Jagdeo. He said that the Guyanese government has allocated approximately $230 billion towards the housing sector, as it strives to ensure that every citizen can become a homeowner. Jagdeo contrasted the PPPC government's achievements and agenda with the promises and incoherent policies of the opposition. They are promising now to do rent subsidy if they were to get back in office. Rent subsidy. We made it clear that we want to see every Guyanese own their own home and that we would work towards this through state support. As you can see already, the PPP General Secretary emphasized. He underscored the significant efforts involved in each housing project, stressing that these developments are truly transforming the nation in a way the opposition could never even imagine doing. To give you a sense of what we're accomplishing, it costs about $5 million to develop each plot of land. This includes grading the fields, whether it's cane lands or other lands, excavating, filling, putting in electricity, water, and roads. It's a lot of work, and if you were to fly over these areas, you'd see just how much transformation is underway, Dr. Jagdo said. Areas formerly underdeveloped now have the potential to be thriving, large-scale communities due to the government's intervention. From the air, Especially flying over the East Coast and East Bank, you can witness the scale of work Guyanese contractors are doing to turn barren lands, even former rice fields, into what will be thriving communities, Jagdeo said, adding, Soon, these allocations will allow people to move into these areas, and I encourage small video documentation so the public can see this impressive progress for themselves. One of the young professionals' housing schemes on the East Bank Demerara, noting that even in the face of COVID-19, the transformation and impact the government has created is unbelievable, Dr. Jagdeo said. Despite COVID, in just a few short years, we have not only accelerated development, but transformed landscapes that were untouched for years. This government, since taking office, has made strides that are unbelievable, when compared to what was left in the planning stages by the previous administration. The government is well on its way to achieving its milestone of 50,000 homes in five years. And by 2025, an additional $52 billion will be allocated, taking overall investment to $283 billion over five years. Across the country, more Guyanese have become homeowners. Breaking it down for easier reference, Dr. Jack Dio said, Regionally, we're seeing widespread development. 755 lots in Region 2, 812 in Region 3, 23,263 in Region 4, 1,000 in Region 5, 1,800 in Region 6, 134 in Region 7, where they are expanding next year again. Region 8, now they're doing the whole scheme in media for 300. And then in the mountains, they are already building some homes. Region 9, 675. Region 10, we're doing now another thousand. Nearly a thousand houses in the new areas that we had to buy land from a private individual to start a new housing program that the president promised. Looking ahead, the PPPC government's ambitious housing program shows no signs of slowing down. With substantial investments planned and a clear vision for nationwide development, the administration is determined to revolutionize Guyana's housing sector and make home ownership accessible to all citizens.